Kellon Wonderweb number 807. Almost looks like a dryer sheet, doesn't it? I've heard dryer sheets work too. Never used the dryer sheet. Although maybe I should. What do you guys think? Should I use a dryer sheet? See how that does? I'd be interested to see what the similarities are in contrast. This is fusible webbing. It's meant to actually be a little tacky and sticky. Um, its most common purpose is for um, like pillows and jacket linings, backing, things along those lines. Put this back in there. Okay, this is almost going to be the same principle as the screen over here. The one difference, I'm going to kind of deviate and do the hot tuna pattern on this, but just with the pink. These are great walleye and smallmouth colors, by the way, folks, for those of you that are so inclined. So we're going to start out. All I'm doing is pulling my fingers down like that, kind of bunching this together just to get the preliminary bond on this. It all comes back to trigger control. We're not going to be using a, a heavy concentration of spray on these. Now with this, you can kind of bunch up any of the excess stuff. Just snip that off. Because really all it's doing, well I need some new scissors in here. These are getting kind of chatty, dull. I use them for everything though. It's just cheap scissors. Household. Okay. Biggest thing is to keep this sealed down with your thumb and your forefinger, maybe two fingers on that. And then use those alligator clips. Start wide like this and pull that in and you'll see it kind of almost like a shrink wrap to fit. I'm actually going to do the back here first. If you get a crease, it's, it's not a big deal. It really isn't. Kind of bunch that up. Pull that like that. We want one on this back eyelet here. Okay. A couple more and that should do it. Uh, this is pretty much how I create the, uh, the hot tuna pattern. Usually there's a lot more colors on that, but this is just going to be to show the shading and how this Pellon Wonderweb behaves. I behave. Mike Myers. Funny guy. Eh. Now I'm going to stick to the bottom side of this try and keep that seal on the top side since we're going to spray a little bit there. Just bring that in like this. Doesn't want to stick. There we go. We've got a pretty good fit. Going to load just a little bit of black in the chamber. You don't need much. Actually, probably a dark blue would be good on this, too. You know what? Let's do that. Let's not do black on this. Let's do dark blue. Let's use a little Wicked Deep All we're doing here, even strokes. Maybe a little more pressure. There we go. Alright, now the Wonder Web, 
is definitely one use. It's one use and throw away. But it's just such a cool pattern. Now, I told you I was going to teach you how to fix that. So remember we pulled a little bit off of the bottom. Really don't need a whole lot for this. Let's see if I have a usable strip and I think that I do. All we're going to do is get that tight. As tight as we can get it. Hit it with a little spray. And heat set it. And there is your pattern. Now since we have a little bit of extra blue in the chamber, we can come around and do these edges. Just a little more. Two drops. kind of give that bill a little bit more definition. The only thing that we need to do now, just add the little eyes that are going to be black. And that is the Pellon Wonderweb. Also a favorite of mine. Pretty easy to deal with. Uh, as long as you get the hang of it and you heat set it long enough with it still tight I mean, you basically you want to heat set the crap out of it all right get just a little bit of detail black in here get these eyes done And that, the eyes just take a little bit of practice, you guys. Voila. Put a couple of drops of white in there. Grab yourself another Q-tip. And add some layering into those eyes. And you'll have a really standout eyeball on this fish. There you go. If you're completely obsessive like me, while this white is still wet, grab a toothpick. Take your X-Acto knife just snip the end of that toothpick right off so you have a little bit more to work with. Just, I mean, literally, I don't even think you can see that in my hand. Just a little bit. Sheath that. Hmm. Let's do some traditional red or some dark red. That'd probably look pretty, pretty wild too. You can use the same kind of mixing cup. Yes, the mixing cups are in the description below as well. I'll just load the end of this toothpick. And then steady your hand. Aim for the middle. Set that right in. Now you have a wild little pupil on your wild little bait. Kind of cool. Okay, the next one, last but certainly not least, is going to be our Lure Color Studios hard stencil. Jonas laser cuts all these and they fit like a glove. Now, this is one of his older models. I've had these for a couple of years. 
pretty much all you do is line it up and drop it in. He also provides these awesome little clips. Just holds that in place, gives you a bit more of a snug fit. And keeps that bait together. And on this is just a random fire tiger pattern or a tiger strip pattern. My pressure is up on about 30. And then up and down. And move to the back of the bait up and down, move to the back of the bait. I'm not pushing down on the trigger as hard as I can because there's no need. As long as you've got airflow and you've got paint coming out, up and down, to the back of the bait. From the front to the back, up and down. That's it. These are super, 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 super easy to use. We're going to heat set this. Heat setting with it still on, always. Always heat set while it's on. And then once you're done with this, wash that, Just soap and water. And like if you have a fingernail brush, that's really useful. Take this off. Take this side off. There's your pattern. That's really going to pop when it's clear coated. This is a, such an old bait, but it serves its purpose. And then once again, you come over here. Now I have the pressure up a little bit higher than I would normally to put eyes on, but again, it's trigger control. It's just a light spray. It's always fun to go back in time and look at how absolutely awful <laughs> some of the baits. Then you start out, you're experimenting, you know. So everybody was at that point at one at one time or another um, while they learned how to airbrush. And it's just repetition, practice, repetition, practice, repetition. Now you guys can see that there's a little bit of a mess right there. It looks like maybe some paint splatter. We want to make that a little bit more proficient. Let me just bring that down. Covered hard stencils. Netting and scaling. Pellon Wonderweb. Hand cut stencils and how to properly layer and spray to where you're not blobbing paint directly on there to use the stencil as your guideline from the top to the sides. Always start with the top and work your way down the bait. Alligator clips and the Easter egg. That really cool 3D presentation. How to get that shading right. I hope I've helped. If you guys have questions, I'll be happy to answer them. I love to hear from you guys. I love the Facebook Messenger and the Instagram and my, my Twitter feed blowing up and you guys showing me what you've been able to create. I love that. Uh, makes me feel really good that I'm helping you guys out. I'm not the best. Believe me, there's, there's guys and gals out there that are way, way, way better than me. But I take the time to listen and learn and watch and practice as much as I can. So that's what makes the difference. And I've gone from <laughs> crappy baits like this, where my name was real huge, um, to really being able to put together some decent stuff. You know, I'd, I'd say that I'm learning every day, and that's what it's all about. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> Eureka! The zebra pattern. So, okay, that's a wrap. You guys, I really appreciate you watching. Leave me some comments. I'll leave you some links. Have a great weekend. Thanks for chilling at Jekyll Bates Saturday Spray Session. You know, this is like the fifth time I've tried this outro, and uh, it's because I can't say Saturday Spray Session. 
without it sound I mean you guys try it seriously it's crazy the Saturday spray so I can't say it thanks for hanging out on the Saturday spray